Hello and welcome to From the Roots Up, where we're building our homestead little by little from the roots up. I'm Christy and today we are going to be dealing with all this zucchini. We're on day two of the Every Bit Counts Challenge and today we're going to figure out how to preserve zucchini. Now our favorite way to preserve zucchini is to shred it and to freeze it into two cup portions and that is because we love to make zucchini muffins and zucchini bread and most of those recipes call for two cups of zucchini. So we are gonna be shredding all of this zucchini and freezing it today. Let's get started. So the first thing we wanna do before we shred it is we wanna cut off the ends. And that's a pretty quick process. Zucchini is one of those things that when your garden does well in zucchini, it does really well. And you usually have so much zucchini, you can't even give it away. So this is a really good thing to do because in the winter time and in the early spring and in the fall, you can still have those yummy baked goods. Now this zucchini, if you can see right here, it's got a little rotten spot in the middle. I'm gonna just cut until that's gone and throw that part out. Um, you can, when you grate zucchini, you can grate it with a handheld grater, but my favorite thing to use is my KitchenAid stand mixer. There is a wonderful attachment. This is probably one of my favorite attachments for the KitchenAid. So if you don't have a KitchenAid, these things are like the tractor of your kitchen. There's tons of different attachments that they'll power and they work really well. And it enables you to have one device that kind of does so many multiple things. I'll put a link to this one in the description. I actually won this one last year at the county fair uh, for winning the How Sweet It Is dessert making contest. But if you look right here, there's a little screw that unscrews and this pulls out. And then this is gonna be my shredder. Now, this shredder, I absolutely love. It has several different attachments that do several different things. I'm gonna do the fine grating attachment. You can use this for cheese. Actually, I've used it for soap before. Um, all sorts of things. There's bigger slices. There's all sorts of different things you can put in this shredder. But it's really super easy. You just take it. You fit it in here, and then you screw the little knob. And then you make sure it's steady and it's not moving. And then you take whichever attachment you're gonna use. For me, it's gonna be this little shredder, and you hook it in there. This just cuts time so much. If you just have one or two zucchini to do, it's fine to get out the hand shredder. I mean, really you can with anything, but with this many, it really helps enormously to go ahead and get out a shredder like this. All you have to do is to put a bowl underneath it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this, each zucchini through here while the KitchenAid is on. So let's go ahead and get started. Now be sure it's off before you do this part. Pull one out, or you can use a spatula. And look how much zucchini I got. This is gonna make a lot of packages. All right, now that we have all the zucchini shredded, we need to put it in baggies. And when I freeze it, you can just put it in a Ziploc bag and be done with it. But I like to pull the air 
and use the food saver because that makes it last quite a bit longer. So I have this food saver. This is just absolutely one of my favorite things when it comes to preserving. I'll freeze green beans and carrots and whatever. Well, if I can grow enough carrots, actually get to preserve where my little uh, bunny girl isn't munching on them all. <laughs> but um, I use this for a ton of stuff. It's super simple and easy to use. And let's just walk through how to do it. Open the lid right here. And the first step, there's a, you put a roll of baggies in here and I'm just gonna cut bag about the length I want. So now that I have the bag out, I'm gonna go ahead and take the end of the bag. I turned it on, I'm gonna press seal and I'm gonna put this bag down and I wanna stick it all the way in here until I hear it and then the motor is going to seal it and then it'll release in just a minute. And that means once it releases that my bag is sealed and ready to go. There it is. And now I have a bag with a sealed end. So next part is me putting in here the contents that I want to put in here. I made my own bag. And for this, I'm gonna put two cups of zucchini. Now, zucchini is a moist food, so there's actually an option for moist foods because it won't suck as hard on moist foods because it does not want to get, it doesn't want to pull out the moisture. Now, I could do with a smaller bag or I could flatten that out. When you're freezing, it is much easier if I'm storing this to make sure that you flatten it before you store it. If you just have things in balls, they're really hard to store. And also they don't take as long to thaw when they're flattened out like this. Okay, now you wanna leave about four inches of space on the end of it so it has room to suck and seal. And what you're gonna do now, because this is moist, I'm gonna push the food button and change it from dry to moist. And I'm just, don't push the seal button this time. You're just gonna stick it in and it will automatically start. And you can hear it going. And now it's sealing. And it released. Now, inevitably, sometimes there's moisture that gets stuck in the food saver and they make it so easy. They have a little tray and you pull out the tray. And if you can see, there's a little bit of moisture and you can dump it. And I usually do that unless I'm doing something super moist. Um, I'll usually do that when I'm all done. But this zucchini is pretty wet. So I'll probably do that a few times while I'm working on it. All right, so that was enough to make a seven two cup packages plus two cups that I'm leaving out so we can have some fresh zucchini muffins tonight. And that's one more thing I am putting away in our Every Bit Counts Challenge. If you haven't heard of the Every Bit Counts Challenge, go over to Three Rivers Homestead and check out her video on it. Every day in the month of August, we're gonna be preserving something together. So we're gonna have a bounty by the end of August. I will be sure to link below the video where Michaela makes these zucchini muffins so that you know what you can do with these, but you can make zucchini muffins, zucchini bread, zucchini pancakes, whatever you come up with. Let, actually comment down below and tell me what you like to make with your zucchini. Be sure to like this video and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can follow along the whole month of August while we're preserving food every day. Thanks for joining us.